Hello everybody, it's me Chris at Prom again, doing our usual weekly Friday um, programme on things. This week we're doing something slightly different, whereas we've been asking people to, if they want us to compare our gloves, headgear, etc, etc, to other brands. Um, to give my honest and humble opinion, to show I'm not being biased. Um, the reason I'm saying this is obviously I've got my own brand and I think mine's the best like everybody else. But unlike everybody else, I've got f over 50 years experience in boxing. Um, from being a, a young boxer all the way through to being a senior level amateur boxer and a coach and a trainer and now a professional trainer for the last 25 years. As well as having this for nearly 30 years. So all that experience is unlike any other boxing brand that I've ever heard of. Oh, they're all usually business people or big sporting brands. Now, everybody who's involved in boxing will know that they get um, emails, phone calls, messages on social media from a city in Pakistan called Sialkot. In Sialkot, it's the world centre of making sporting goods. Footballs, rugby balls, cricket bats, boxing gloves, sports clothing, tracksuits, t-shirts, you name it, they make it. Some of them are very good, and like anywhere else, some of them are alright, and some of them are really bad. Um, now, they always ask us the same things, maybe you'll know, you'll know yourself if you've got a boxing name on social media or something. They ring up or message and they say... We will make you your gloves with your logo. We'll beat any price. As a better, as a quicker, as a faster shipping. The people who make ours, we've been with for a few years. He knows what I want and how we work together. And he gets it exactly right. So for me to change to one of these other companies, I'd have to sort of, in effect, retrain these people to make it the way we want it. Because what they exactly do is... They get pictures off the internet or other people's websites of their equipment and they'll take that photograph and they'll copy a glove like this from that photograph. Now realistically by doing that you don't know the quality of the leather, the stitching, the full pattern as it's laid out as a flat piece of hide, what foam padding's used inside and in what way. So it's just a quick copy. And a lot of people have fell for this thinking they're going to set their own business up being the next big boxing brand. And when the stuff gets here, it's absolutely rubbish. They use poor quality recon foam inside or, you know, cheap leather, whatever it is. So that makes them more wages for themselves. Now, the company I want to speak to about today is Messenger. That's these. Now, we used to work... Oh, we tried to work with Messenger. The young chap phoned me up and he had said the same things. Can we make your gloves? Can we help out? Can we do this? And I'm always polite to these people. And I will say, look, we have got our own, own factory. who make what we design. We're unique to everybody else. Um, so I'm quite happy with them. A lot of them, they insist and they carry on and they carry on. So I must have been in a good mood this day. And I've said, go on then. Show me what you can do. He insisted he was the best man for this and he dropped names that he'd worked for in the past, different brands. Um, and he made a sample for us and sent it over. Now, I wasn't looking at what the sample was or anything like that. I just wanted to see his workmanship and if he understood the difference in foam paddings and, and types of leather. Which he seemed to and his workmanship was quite nice. It was okay. So I said to him, I said, if I send you a pattern, um, some layers of foam to you, so you can get the same thing from your market, wherever you buy it from, suppliers, and you can make our glove to this standard, using these ingredients, if you like. And he said, yeah, sure, no problem. And he sent me a glove over, and it was, it was quite good, actually. It looked nice, it felt nice. Um, like everything else we do, it went into our gym, one of the boxers used it and 
it wasn't very hard wearing, we'll say, but we do treat them rough as samples. They get battered. Uh, an out and out sparring glove will be used on the bags, the pads, the sparring. It'll be used for everything, so it gets tested to destruction, if you like. So I contacted him back and I said, It's not quite what we're looking for, but I'll keep you in mind. Again, he insisted he could do the job. So I sent him a pair of our gloves over there and I said, If you can make them better than this glove, I will consider having you make some gloves for us on a different line, a different run. Um, he eventually came back to us after a few trials and errors with this glove. Now this was, we used to do the ultimate, so this was called the ultimate 2.0. Now for about his fifth attempt this was quite a good glove. He'd learned how he wanted the, the nice support on the wrist we didn't want no X or fancy stitch pattern on there just to keep it plain so nobody didn't look like anybody else's. We didn't want triple thumb or anything like that. Just two, two nice colours. The main thing we wanted was the shape of the thumb and the multi-layered foam and the quality leather. And other things that, that, that we pioneer obviously is we like a lot of breather holes either side. We, need, we want good fingertip control inside the glove. Uh, he understood all this and he sent this glove over. We were quite happy with it. We were just going to run it as a pro line. Um, I sent it to Simon at Fit to Box. He agreed it was quite a glo good glove for the money. Um, it did need longer laces, but that's easily sorted. And I think Simon give this a four star rating. Um, while I was doing this, he wanted to make his own brand and establish himself as a brand. So I said, yeah, I'll help you establish your own little brand if you want to do that. Um, I said, but as long as it's not copies of what we do, because this is our soul. This is for me and nobody else and our sole design as we've discussed. And you can't copy that. So he sent me these. His XXG Elite Glove. Which, if you look at it, is very similar, not as narrow and as compact, a bit wide, in fact a bit too wide for me, and for a few of our customers. Um, he had the same, you know, he, he basically copied this, but in his own image. He had the same idea of the nothing on the, on the cuff, and when you turn it over, he had all the same breather holes. He had the similar shaped thumb, he had the multi-layered foam, the same thickness. It was basically our glove except he didn't put any proper padding here to make it sturdy enough. On He only padded that side and not this side. Um, and the, obviously the laces are poor quality laces, obviously cheaper laces that we would never use. He even copied the kind of lining that we like inside it. Now he wanted to retail this glove at £150. And I explained to him, you're a new person on the, you know, around, you will not be able to sell it for £150. For my mind, that is a glove that you'd be able to get about £60 for to introduce your brand to the market. Um, he asked me, would we sell them? So I said, I'll try. I said, but I'm not going to put that in front of my glove of the same price. I said, in fact, we do a better glove at £50, so it'll be a hard sell. So he sent us some over, um, vel some Velcro, some lace up. I have no Velcro ones to show you, but what he did do is, as you can see, on a Velcro glove, we put a piece of elastic in here to stop gaping at the top. Uh, everybody does it, it's common sense. What Mr. Messenger did was put the elastic on the outside and it looked really scruffy and it didn't look too clever at all. I pointed this out to them um, and I think he ended up changing it. If he didn't it was his own fault. But the following thing we found with Mr. Messenger was two weeks later after Simon checking our glove out, another company had a similar pair of gloves on. Same thing with the Velcro and the lace-up. Same thing with all the uh, holes. 
In fact, the glove was identical, but it was a different colour. It was just one colour with somebody else's logo on it. I won't mention the logo, it's not their fault. Um, so, and they marketed this at half the price what we sell this one at. So I spoke to Mr. Messenger once more and I said to him, um, have you been selling my design to other people after me asking you not to and to be trustworthy? At first he denied it and then when I said well this make I've just been on fit to box and they showed an identical glove to mine but a different colour. Did you make that glove? And he said oh yes I didn't realise I wasn't supposed to sell it. And I said, yes, you did, because the first thing I say to people, you do not sell my designs to any other company. This company is even a UK company, which made things worse. And undercutting all my work in design and, and development, um, which is not very nice. So we decided, I said to Mr. Messenger, if you want to continue working for me, you need to stop working for that company and stop sending them any designs of what we do and we'll try and promote your stuff so I'm still being nice to the chap um, and I said to him I said so I said I said we we're going to discontinue this glove because you've butchered it now and tried to copy it yourself sent copies to another company so we're discontinuing this glove so he asked me could he make our competition gloves for professional boxing um, he sent a couple of samples over, they weren't good enough, in my mind they were dangerous, they were too hard, they would cause facial injuries in professional boxing, and we knocked it back. Uh, we've, we've since seen, seen that design of a uh, professional boxing glove with another company, so he's still selling substandard equipment to people, and we've since continued working with him. No, discontinued working, should I say. Anyway, back to what we were doing. So you've got the, the background of this company and why we're doing this one this week. Um, obviously, if you wanted to do with a good reputable brand, we're not going to go into that side of it. We'll just do an out and out 50-50 comparison. Now for this glove. Now, as you can see, it's very wide. Um, in fact, it's too bulky for me, uh, this one. Um, we do know the padding's quite, uh, quite okay because it's my padding. Um, when you put the glove on, it's very loose and very big inside. So there's a lot of side to side movement with inside the glove. So as you can see, my hands move. And obviously, I'd, I'd have hand wraps on, but there's enough room in there for them to get two hands in, I think. You're allowed to open it a bit and close it a bit. It's okay. Um, now, once you get the lace on, obviously, it's going to give you that little bit more support on the wrist. But I don't think you're going to get that much durability with it because I've just pulled that round. You can see it's creasing up the leather already because there's not much support in the wrist. In fact, it's very, very flimsy, the wrist area. So you would really need the laces tied properly and a, and a lot of tape on it to make that last. Now, we have used these in the gym. Because we couldn't sell them, most of our customers, once they've seen these, compared to something else we maybe rival, Adidas, um, some of the Mexican gear, they've decided that this is too big, ugly, badly weighted, and no, no wrist protection on it. Now, the glove that's copied off, if you look at this, it is, has got that extra protection, even though it's made by the same guy, it's got that more sturdier wrist, it doesn't flop. Now once you put this glove in, these are both 16 ounce by the way. Put this glove on, it's a nice snug fit. You can open it and everything the same as the other one. There's no movement inside. It's, it's stayed nice and snug and fits around the hand. A loose glove will give you It'll cause damage to your bones eventually. Now this, as you can see, like I said, the lace is a bit short on this sample, but it's got plenty of protection on the wrist and plenty of support. 
It's not too big and bulky. It's quite well liked on the on the market. It sold very well. In fact, we sold out of them quite quickly. Um, we did order a second batch, but they never arrived. So we paid for the batch that we never got as well. Um, it's a lot different. As you can see, you've got your sizes. Even though they both weigh 16 ounce, you've got. You can see the difference in the wrist support straight away. Also, as you can see on ours, it's got extra bit of padding there like it should. As you can see, this one doesn't. So, this, in effect, is a poor copy of this. Because we stopped making this one, we asked our factory, our original factory, we, you know, we apologised for going somewhere else, sent him a pair of those over, and we said, improve that glove improve it make it better and make for our customers this is where this one came in now as you can see it's not floppy at the wrist it's got plenty of protection in the sides when you put the glove on we've got plenty of laces put it on and it's really snug when it's on and it's softer to the touch now as you can see you can open and close it's a better glove all round we did market this one at 130 pounds this one's gone up from 100 to 125 because the calf skin on this one has gone up in price which is unfortunate but that's life prices go up every year now for me with all them years of you know experience in boxing this glove is a better glove than this one. Now they're both our gloves, but I'm saying to you, this one is better. The factory were told to improve this, make it better, make it safer. In effect, what they've done, the foam is the same inside, but there's an extra layer on top of this one, so it's softer on the outside. Now, when you put this, say this one on, And you punch a hard surface, the shock or the feel on the knuckles is average, say, for a medium to soft glove. Put this one on, I can hit it as hard as you like, and because of that extra little layer on top, it's the same, don't forget, it's the same inside. The next three layers are identical, but we've got an extra little softer layer on the outside. That is extra protection. It doesn't make the glove any softer. It's extra protection. Now, some people don't get that. They think every glove's the same. If it's a multi-layer foam, it's three layers of foam and a layer of leather. And some are harder and some are softer, depending on the, the foams that are used in them layers. For some reason, some people think this is a soft, because it feels soft to the touch that way, it's going to feel softer when you're hitting things. It's not for that. This extra layer is an extra shock absorber. Plus, if you're sparring and hitting an opponent, it's not going to damage your, your sparring partner as much. Not that it would anyway, but it's not going to get through a head guard, to be fair. But that, it's got the same as that, or the same as that and an extra soft layer on top that's the difference now those who've used these gloves and we've got a few pro lads who are enjoying using these um, a few top pros actually Brandon Dayo the English Superfly Champion you'll see loads of pictures of him wearing these he loves them um, they're not damaging his hands or damaging his, his sparring partners which is usually those world level Edwards brothers, Sonny and Charlie they'll tell you, they you know, they're a good glove to be hit with and a good glove to hit people with um, don't think because it's softer on the outside that it's softer on the inside as well it has extra layers of absorption that's the thing so this one you're looking probably an 8 out of 10 for this glove this one a 9 out of 10 because I'm never happy it's got to be right this one 
it's just a cheap copy of that one so your messenger glove is probably a 4 out of 10 <laughs> don't get me wrong there's far worse than this available in um, in in the market today um, and it, the leather's okay the leather's the same leather as that leather the leather's nice leather it's thin but it's nice leather um, and of course with these as well we do the velcro the same as he does the velcro the only difference being our velcro has got that big thick strap for the extra protection once again on the messenger velcro it's only a three inch strap and it's a bit of a floppy strap but this is a bit more it's a bit more substantial it's thicker less floppy what they use is just a piece of leather with velcro stitched to it so it's not very it's not much more um, stable in the wrist than, than the lace up version um, and, that, and as you know we still do similar shiny leather but it's a bit better leather we use on the shiny ones now um, so there you have it the messenger glove is basically a cheap copy of our old ultimate 2.0 this is probably the ultimate 3.0 and very shortly in the summer we're doing an, another updated version of this so don't get this confused because it looks nice and soft that it's not if you want a nice soft glove That's a soft glove. That's a retro glove, which is uh, a synthetic horsehair padding. This is multi layered foam. This is four ply. This is three ply. This is multi layer but with small foam and synthetic horsehair. Big difference. Once again, wrist protection. So, like I say, cheap copy, old, old style new style bit of a waffle on this one but there you go I had the opportunity to show you the messenger glove it doesn't sell here so I wouldn't rate it I mean we've had it in the shop for 18 months and we've given them all away basically give them away on raffles give them away to clubs to help them get up and running because they needed gloves I just couldn't sell them um, in fact those that I did sell I've sold for £25 just to get them out of the door um, and try and get the money back for the order that didn't, ne never arrived um, like I say send me your brand of glove or send me the glove that you use I will give it a fair crack of the whip a bit further than I've done with that one because obviously we've had problems with that company but I'll give you a full 50-50 assessment Put it up against whichever glove of ours you choose to put it up against. May it be the £50 club glove, the £75 intermediate, the pro glove, whether you want to do it lace up or velcro, or you want to put it on with our top of the range V shadow, or our fight glove. You tell us, send us a, something to compare it to, and we will compare it. Um, and it'll be an honest opinion of mine with all them years of experience hope you've liked this one different again so you don't get bored with us um, and hopefully we'll be able to bring some boxes in in the future as well and have a bit of a semi podcasting while we go through different gloves and see which ones they prefer and why they prefer so you're not just getting my opinion please like and subscribe and message me please message me tell me what you're on about you know give me your opinion do you like this glove why do you like that glove? Can you see it's just a rip off of that one? Like, subscribe, message, send us your opinion. Send me your gloves if you want me to um, evaluate them against any model of ours. I'd be happy to do so. Um, and I am not biased really. Honest. See you again. Thanks and goodbye.